Is it early or it's late night? late night? We at the after party, so don't act brand new You could call me in the morning, morning. You might catch me rolling with my West End crew And you gon' wanna match my high You be catching feelings, I can see it in your eyes Got three bad bitches right by my side You can tell me shit, I'm gon' enjoy this ride Handy in my cup, I don't give a fuck, I'm tryna feel right Hey you all, it's Lanamore here. I'm back with another video. This is actually going to be my last video of the year. <laughs> so happy. Um, I'm gonna I'm kind of recording in the future, Loki, because today is technically Christmas, but by the time I post this, it will be um New Year's Eve. I'm planning on posting this on New Year's Eve, so I will be taking like a few days off. Um, and not, and this will be like my last video of the year, pretty much. Um, and it's going to be my 2023 goals. I'm going to keep it short, sweet, and to the point. Um, I don't know when my next upload is. Like, I don't know what, like, when I'm going to upload in January, but I'm planning on obviously coming back in January. Um, but I don't know when. I'll probably take like a week break, a week or so, and then I'll get back to consistently and I'll try to figure out a schedule so that y'all know like, you know, when I'm going to be posting. Um, and yeah, pretty much with that. So um, in this video, I'm pretty much going to be talking about my goals for the new year. I don't do New Year's resolutions really anymore. I do more so, I set goals more so, so that I know that they're achievable. And when I set goals, I set achievable goals that I know that I'm going to really work hard towards. Um, there are some goals that I'm not sharing because just for personal reasons, I just want to keep them to myself because there's some goals that you should work in silence with. Like there's some goals that you legit should just work in silence or a few people um, in your inner circle should know about if you really want to share them. But some of these goals that I want to put is like, I kind of want to put it in the atmosphere so that I'm held accountable and pretty much, <laughs> pretty much held accountable. So these goals are pretty much stuff I want to hold myself accountable for. The first one I kind of already started this year, which is good, um, is fitness and health goals. So I have some fitness goals. Um, your girl, uh, I kind of want to get in more shape, um, just for my overall health, honestly, I'm, I know people may look at me and be like, there's nothing wrong with you. I hear that all the time. Like people will be like, but you're not, you look fine the way you are, blah, blah, blah. Like, thank you for the compliments, but there are some goals for myself. Um, when I look in the mirror, um, I love my face. Like I pick at small parts about my body. People will say I probably have body dysmorphia, which I probably do, but um, there's some goals. Like, I want to, like, lose my stomach. Um, I really want to target that. Like, there's just things I want to target with my fitness. And then health overall, I want to get better at eating right. Um, I definitely, like, I'm still struggling there a little bit when it comes to my eating habits. Um, so I definitely want to, like, kind of have, like, a strict, not strictness, but I do want to get to a regimen where it's like a lifestyle where I'm like obviously not going cold turkey because you should not do that I've done that before um, but just easily getting back into like a better eating lifestyle so that's my first goal my second goal is going to be dedicated to my channel I want to get consistency with my YouTube channel I was looking at like a few years back of like how long I've been on YouTube and how I take so many mental health breaks some were mental health breaks, some were just, I was just over YouTube, and I've been, I noticed I took a lot of breaks, but I want to be more consistent. I want to have a year of consistency, because I feel like if I actually just give it a try, a year of consistency, I never know what can come about with me just being consistent for a full year. Consistent meaning maybe posting once or twice a week, um, three times if I can, but like just getting more consistent with the schedule. That's why YouTube has that wonderful schedule, you know, where you can schedule out your uploads. So definitely going to be taking a lot advantage of that next year. And I'm already starting to film for January. I already did it. So I'm already proud of myself for that. Um, also, I have some work goals that I want to do, like goals with my job. Um, I'm debating, like, if I want to start another position. 
Um, I know I do want to promote. My manager already wants me to promote as well. He already put that there in the universe. So I don't know if I want to stick with what I'm doing now or if I want to promote in a new role um, overall. So that's definitely going to be something I'm going to be working towards um, getting a establish a new position or a new role so you know just put that in the atmosphere I'm gonna let God lead me into that because I've been like thinking about some you know things and then the last goal I have pretty much is to maintain healthy relationships I do not want no toxicity in my life in 2023 like I just cannot like I need to maintain healthy relationships whether it's with friends um family co-workers whoever you know like I just need healthy balance you know just healthy maintain healthy relationships and honestly if this is, should be for everybody if there's people in your life that are just like draining you mentally mentally draining you or just they're just not serving a great purpose it's okay to cut them off it's okay to break up with people and Breaking up does not always mean with like a relation, like with a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Like it doesn't always mean that. Like you literally sometimes have to break up with family, break up with friends, break up with like coworkers. Like you legit have to do it sometimes. Like I know people might be like, cut them off, but no, actually sometimes you just have to break up the relationship. Like you have to just kind of like cut the relationship up. Like be like, yo, this is not working out. Um, but yeah, so maintaining healthy relationships. And then I also do have some other personal goals that I want to do um, for myself that I kind of want to keep private. But yeah, those are my goals for 2023. It's a short, it seems like a short list. But honestly, it's just things that like, goals don't have to be a long list. Okay. I feel like when you're setting goals for yourself, you should set goals that you know that you're going to achieve in enough time in a time frame that you choose to do um, and don't make yourself feel like those goals are rushed so um, what I want to know in the comments below also if you follow my Instagram poll like if you follow my Instagram I do a lot of polls on there every once in a while so I'll probably post this on Instagram as well is what are your goals or resolutions for the new year um, if you if it's fitness like me or if it's like you want to maintain healthy relationships what are your fitness goal I mean fitness goals what are your goals for 2023 overall in general if you've made any or have any maybe you want to start fasting I don't know maybe you want to start reading more or eating better you know you might have similar goals as me so whatever your goals are for 2023 I would love to read them honestly I'm I would like to read them I want to read them down below in the comment section or on my Instagram just seeing it and if y'all don't mind I would probably want to share them all right so toodles to my sunshine squad I will see you all in the new year happy new year's eve and happy new year toodles when I'm going through phases, I wish I could stay.